the, I mean, the future is incredibly bright and, and it's yeah. really, really solving uh, a big uh, problem of our time, which is the carbon footprint. While the idea of a wood-powered car seems ridiculous at first pass, a Swedish battery producer founded by two former Tesla executives believes there is a new place for wood in our never-ending quest for energy, and the science behind the idea makes more sense than you might have imagined. So why wooden batteries, and how would they turn trees into batteries? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Northvolt, a Swedish battery manufacturer, has partnered with Stora Enzo, a Finnish paper company on new battery technology that defies belief. The two say they have developed a method to extract materials material from sustainably raised and harvested Nordic wood. They note that their material creates a more efficient battery and provides better charging speeds. The material that Northvolt and Stora Enso intend to use isn't just ground up trees, and the wood itself is not involved in battery cell production. Northvolt will use a material called lignode, which is developed from lignin, a natural binder that comprises up to 30% of many trees. According to Northvolt, lignin is also one of the largest renewable sources of carbon anywhere. Are these bio batteries worth a shot from an economic standpoint? Uh, but lastly, I think also cost and performance. And I think we have managed to show that uh, even though we, we are a young company, None of the sources have disclosed any comprehensive estimates yet. Northvolt, on the other hand, hopes to bring these wood-based batteries closer to reality for a third of the price of lithium-ion batteries. That's about $50 per kilowatt hour, because prices of lithium-ion battery packs across all sectors have increased to $151 per kilowatt hour, at least since 2022. Moreover, all the materials used in wood batteries cost less than a dollar per kilogram. According to some estimates, recovering lignin through ultrafiltration of pulp would only cost around six cents per kilogram. However, this figure doesn't factor in the cost of upcycling the recovered lignin into a material suitable for battery anodes. Just for comparison, you would need to spend $2 to make a kilogram of synthetic battery grade graphite for a lithium ion battery. So what's the process in making these wooden batteries? Lignin is separated from wood during the production of cellulose fibers from its pulp. With lignin, water, and natural polymers as the main ingredients, their formula has a bio-based content of up to 80%. This Swedish startup is recovering lignin from paper manufacturing waste streams. They then mix lignin with carbon through a process called dry ball milling. The result of this organic cocktail is a conducting nanocomposite that's fed to a printing press to make an anode sheet. But how long would it take to charge this battery? As claimed by the company, Lignode would also allow faster charging compared to graphite-based anodes. It can charge from 0 to 97% in just 5 minutes, which is 10 times faster than a Tesla lithium-ion battery, which can charge from 0 to 97% in 52 minutes. Their material has a more disordered and open structure compared to graphite, which is arranged in regularly spaced layers. This framework is more accessible, which speeds up the charging process. Moreover, wooden batteries also allow for better performance at lower temperatures and are therefore less prone to safety risks in temperatures below freezing. Lignode also ensures that maximum value is extracted from, from harvested trees and their myriad fiber-based materials while producing producing higher performing batteries. But when compared to lithium ion batteries, how would wooden batteries impact the environment? Uh, recycling topic. I mean, it's um, with the Norfolk mission and, and how we think about the green battery. It's More than 50% of the carbon footprint from EVs comes from the battery, both in terms of sourcing raw materials and production. The hard carbon derived from lignin removes the environmental impacts of mining and processing graphite. At the same time, trees planted for lignin are completely traceable back to their point of origin by harvesting. Interestingly, the material is a natural byproduct of the existing production of cellulose fibers. The problems with graphite anodes extend beyond environmental impacts. Lithium ion batteries are laborious to extract from the earth, requiring extensive resources, both human and 
and otherwise. The mines are often located in parts of the world where labor laws are less protective of the working class, leading to unsatisfactory conditions for miners in China, Africa, and elsewhere. Also, certain countries are not shy in terms of child labor, so there's that to think about. Even though all this innovation sounds electrifying, will it perform well enough to switch off lithium-ion batteries for good? Wooden batteries would be able to store only 40 watt hours per kilogram. When you compare it to lithium ion batteries, that's up to nearly seven times lower. To bypass this obstacle, the startup is focusing on stationary applications where heavy weight is not an issue. So obviously they have a dramatically lower energy density, but the company is looking to develop them with a higher density. They discovered that this battery works in colder temperatures, paving the way for more electric vehicles to be powered. When will this technology go to market? The two companies are currently in the prototyping stage in preparation for large-scale production. The North Volt plant in Sunila is up and running with 50,000 tons of annual capacity, making it the largest producer of the material in the world. The two companies say they are validating earlier work and completing cell testing as part of the process. North Volt already has deals on the table with Volkswagen and Volvo, so the money is there for this project. Obviously, it's hard to say because it's still in the lab, but it may be some time before a North Volt battery is available for purchase, though the lead researcher hopes to turn them into a real thing within five years. It's viable to produce these batteries commercially due to the wide availability of the resource required to make them, which are trees. The manufacturers pledge to source their materials from the sustainability certified European forests. European producers could tap into the 17 million tons of lignin generated annually as a byproduct of the paper industry, which are currently not being used. Whatever the outcome, all progress is good for buyers and the environment. How do you feel about the future of wooden battery technology? Would you want your mobile device to be powered by a wooden battery? Knock on wood and let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and until the next time, take care and be safe.